After a hard day of undead slaying, are you tired of coming home to even more zombies attempting to utilize your organs as fashion accessories? Do you tire of raiders and other turkey nipple scumbags attempting to take your things while you're out? If so, then it's probably because your windows are dirty. And if your windows are dirty, you're gonna need the brand new Squeegeonator 35000. That's right, the Squeegeonator 35000 is a definitive improvement over the previous model. People say that it has a more enjoyable sound, but better than that, you don't have to have a stroke in order to use it appropriately. Ah! I'll be your host, Jeremiah Jackwagon, and I'm gonna go with you through the steps needed to clean your windows with the brand new Squeegeonator 35000. First things first, always check your room for guns and drugs. After you locate said guns and drugs, just leave them there, you're probably gonna need them anyways, it's the apocalypse. But then head over to a dirty window and take out the Squeegeonator 35,000. Utilizing only the power of your mind, feel free to levitate it through the air. Hold down the left click mouse button. And then kind of move it back and forth, as if though you're slapping an unruly person right in the mouth repeatedly. Look at how clean and glorious it looks. Can you hear it? Can you hear the sound of the new and improved Squeegeonator? Does it sound more enjoyable? Does it make you feel like your impotence is growing? Wait, that's the wrong way. Potence is growing. Yes, you, you're more you're more potent. Yes. Well, if potence is your thing, where the hell did the squeegeonator go? If the potence is your thing, then make sure to pick up the squeegeonator 35,000 today for the low, low price of only 16 bags of rice. And remember, when operating the squeegeonator 35,000, always keep the suction away from hands and genitals. Hello, everybody, great stuff, please. We're back with more of the only game where guns and drugs are commonplace. Actually, I guess there was a couple other games where the, the guns and the drugs were commonplace. But over here, it's all part of the, uh, I don't know, I guess the, the manufacturing portion of flipping houses. Now, the last time we had this house, which there's almost nothing of. There's literally nothing of this house. The things that are within this house are only existing here because we started to put them in. And we do have to do quite a bit of work on this house still. But there's something else. Oh, this is our bathroom that we made. Look at how lovely it is. But there's other things that we have to do as well. Oh, and it's our sauna too. Got it. I just want to go to sleep in here. This is fantastic. The uh, the other things that we have to do is, uh, a couple of you guys had mentioned, back at our apocalypse house, we're missing something very important. We're missing a prisoner's room. An area where the, uh, the people that we capture that aren't zombies have to, I don't know, I guess go to die. So we're gonna have to make that, and we will make that, but first we're gonna have to work a little bit more on this house that we're building from the ground up. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, in this room here, we have to place a ceiling lamp tube. It's one of my, one of my favorite personal tubes over there. If you're gonna tube it up, you might as well start at the ceiling. Uh, ceiling lamp, oh, there's actually something called ceiling lamp tube. Of course there is, why wouldn't there be? It's house flipper. Look at all these lovely colors. Oh, Lily, that's awful. Pink, uh-huh. For baby boy! Sure. Oh, it's got little critters on it. I guess we could have a children's room in here. What is this room even supposed to be? It's just kind of like a room that goes over into this master bath area. Actually, if it is going to be the master bath area, shouldn't it be like a master bedroom in here? Yeah, this should probably be a legitimate, like, full-size bedroom. Uh, let's go ahead and pick red because I like that color. Were, were, the, were these donkeys here before? And I just missed them. I feel like the derpy donkeys must have been there before and I just didn't pay enough attention to it. I keep finding things that are new. I know people had mentioned they're like, oh man, they need to uh, they need to keep adding more stuff to house flippers. You guys have no idea. Like the amount of stuff that they have added to house and they don't tell anyone. That's I think the big problem. They just ah gray, my favorite. The stuff that they add to house flippers is ridiculous. And they do this crap all the time and like no one ever knows. So we just sit here thinking that they haven't added anything when in fact they've added a ton of stuff. They just never tell anyone. So I got the opportunity to look at a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the comments in the last house flipper and I saw people mentioning their own horrifying beer stories. What I find particularly disturbing is how many people had the same story about being like tricked into trying beer by a family member. <laughs> Like a, like a grandfather or something. They were always like, They told me it was iced tea. That's terrible. <laughs> like, that's terrible. Like, I, I guess at least I was dumb enough to try, like, to want to try it. And my uncle finally just gave in. But there's other family members out there that are like, I can see them almost wringing their hands in anticipation being like, Oh, you fool. I'm not sure where I want to put this thing. It, like, there's enough space over here. I just, like, can you walk through this? 
See, I can't, but I feel like our character is like insanely girthy. That I feel like I could walk through this without a big deal, especially considering how big the bed is. I don't know. It, it just, it just, it just feels like we should be able to squeeze through certain areas. But maybe it's because of our massive tools, our tool belt, the massive tool belt that we're holding. That's got to be it. Dressing table, you say? Sure. Oh. There, in fact, is a dressing table. Does it come in... Oh, it comes in dark red. I was kind of hoping for something else. But that's fine. It'll not really match the, sh the lampshade, but we can pretend. Mmm. Stylish stools. I'm always very curious about who comes up with the names for these things. Because I feel like it's not really so much of an adjective. It's just someone making a decision. They're like, man, this stool is really stylish. Welcome to the game. Uh, it almost looks more like a like a crappy little table. Where am I gonna put this thing? Like, why is this even here? Is it supposed to be over by this dressing area? I, I guess I'll put it here. We need two of them too. It's, this is just really odd. I don't even know why these are gonna be in here. Brushy round trash bin. Sure. Brushy round trash bin. Only comes in one color, so you gotta deal with it. Oh, it's gonna be perfect, right there. You know what? Maybe it doesn't look that jacked up. At first, I thought the room was gonna look really jacked up. But really, it just looks like, it kind of looks like a prison, really. <laughs> Paint with colors, silver ice and white. Now, I will say the silver ice sounds like, sounds like what you would describe a ring as. Like if, you're, like if your significant other was buying a ring or something like that, like an engagement ring, you would pick the one that was silver ice colored diamonds or something. You have to color this in both? Oh, you do. I don't know how I want to do it. Striping it will take forever. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and like, you know, have a stroke back and forth like this and just pray to God that at some point I have enough area left over to switch to a different paint. That's the other thing too. I feel like I should have gotten my, my paint skill up or something. Almost like it's like a D&D &D skill, like sword swinging. But at this point, we're just like paint slinging. But anyway, yeah, someone was like, they, like, they're, they're, uh, they're, whatever, uh, grandfather or something had given them a concoction of like beer and whiskey or some such. That's terrible. Like who mixes that like that? Is that a thing? Is that a thing I'm missing? I feel like that's not a thing because I've seen, what am I doing? Why do I keep wanting to sell everything? I mean, well, <laughs> well name of the game, but I feel, I feel like that's, I would have heard of something like that. I've never heard of anything like that. And let me tell you, I've mixed some pretty jacked up stuff together. Actually, one of my favorite things these days is uh, black cherry bourbon and uh, lemonade. It tastes delicious. It's like cherry lemonade, only, you know, slightly more buzzy-ish. Now it's time for some liquid white. There we go. Grab the old painting you over here, slap it on down. It's not really gonna change that much. Wow, it like it changed less than I thought it would change. Like when I said it's not gonna change that much, I was actually expecting like a little bit of a difference. This is rough. I have bad eyes too, so I could very easily ignore the ver the difference that is happening here. But I guess if you, oh, holy sweet mother of Jesus. Didn't know about the headlamp there. That almost blew up my corneas. It's magic. That wasn't the right brown. It's magic. There we go. Mother of God. I totally missed it the first time. Now I've got like some random paneling like all, oh no. The paneling went through the wall over here. I, it actually destroyed one of my other thingies. So I'm gonna have to change that. Let me, let me do this first though. There we go, all is well. We can sell our other paint can over here. What's next? Things are going pretty good. We have a bathroom now. We have a sauna. We have a legitimate bedroom for the most part. Um, are these windows clean? Cause if they're not clean, we're gonna have to use the squeegeenator 5000. The windows don't open. Like, you can select them, but they don't actually open. This is interesting. You boys like cold, hard steel? Me too. I did not put that where I meant to put that. I guess it should be somewhere in the middle. I, I don't know where the hell to put this thing. Um, maybe like right here. Like, I have a light in my house that's right by the entrance. So I kind of want to put it like that. Like, if I, if, it would be right here. Although my door frame is a little bit more centered than this one, but whatever. Loren Metal Trash Bin. Is that a designer trash bin? It sounds like a designer trash bin. Right over here. This way, when you're on your way out, you can throw out the friggin' garbage rather than leave it in my yard. And then a shoe cabinet with tree hanger. Hmm. Sure. Oh, it literally is a shoe tree, uh, a shoe hanger, or a tree hanger. Uh, let's see, black. Uh, what is this? Oh, that looks like a nice contrast. And then we'll keep a little gray in there because I do like my gray. Oh, Lord. Where in the hell is this gonna go? 
I mean, right here, I guess? I don't know. It looks good enough to me. Paint with colors white. Of course. Right after I sold the bucket of white paint. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your tool. You want to grasp it firmly in both hands. And you're going to want to sling your, your white goo all over the walls. Right like this here. There you go. Yeah, nice and smooth. You don't want to miss any spots or anything. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Maybe put a happy little tree shoe rack over there or something. I saw another comment. Someone was like, ah, Gray's humor. He's it, it, tons of ton, tons of adult hidden stuff, but kids can enjoy it too. It's basically like Pixar. That's what I think Pixar is. We all sit here thinking that uh, the Pixar movies are uh, like cute and, and juvenile. When in reality, there's a lot of like really, really strong topics that they talk about. And, and luckily, for the most part, some young folks are none the wiser, although some do catch on pretty quickly to what's going on. I think it's because a lot of people underestimate my age. Well, someone said it best. I'm not really like a brother for most people. I'm apparently like a less drunk uncle, which is nice. I, I appreciate that. I, I'm, I'm glad that you had to put the less drunk portion as part of the analogy, part of the descriptor. Makes me feel... Good. What is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be it's like the smallest bathroom I've ever seen in my life? Mount devices. Oh, we got enough area for a toilet. And what is that? A shower? Like, seriously, you could shower and urinate at exactly the same. Actually, very easily, too. Like, at the same time. Because the shower is literally going to be like here. And the toilet is going to be here. Never mind. This isn't a shower at all. It's a sink. Well, I guess you could urinate in the sink if you really wanted. Don't mind me. Just sliding my giblets into place here. There we go. Look at that. Looks good. It may be a little bit too big. We could finish this, but you know what? I said I wanted to build a house from scratch, and we're going to do it. We're going to do this entire house. Real quick, though, it's toilety time. I wish that we had some different toilets. Like, we've had the same three for a little while. Now, to be fair, originally we only had one toilet. So it's kind of nice to at least have a secondary toilet and now a tertiary toilet. But, um... Yeah, for a while, all we had was that very first, like, like, tall back toilet. And then the other two toilets kind of came in later. Wow. They want white floor tiles and white wall tiles. Like, this is going to be the most sterile looking room in the entire universe. Because it's like a white door frame and a white ceiling and everything else. Oh, no. I just thought about it. This is the kind of tiling where you have to do it one at a time. It's going to look like a commercial bathroom. Like a bathroom in, like, a subway or something. Actually, that's exactly what it's going to look like. In fact, I think that subway is the appropriate descriptor for this bathroom. It's it's going to be a subway bathroom, only with slightly less urine all over the toilet seat. I guess it depends on who you are. Yay. 100% faster plastering. I haven't had to plaster anything in a long time. Ah, crap. I just lost my tool. I haven't had to plaster anything in a long time. Although I have been waiting. You know what? What do we still need? Like, I still feel like there's ones... Oh, there's a lot of building we don't have. That's what I want. The paint and then the less paint usage. In fact, I might even get the less paint usage first. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day. We're, we're legitimately moving through here. We're already at an income of $10,000. That's a pretty good price. Um, Considering we've spent, I don't know, maybe like an hour doing this house so far. $10,000. you imagine? Like charging $10,000 an hour. That'd be freaking incredible. How much more stuff do we have to do? It says seven more tasks. This is going to be a big room. Oh my God. Uh, luckily, one part of it is just like floor tiles. So those are going to go on real quick. The other thing is just like a lot of paint. A lot. How much is this worth? I know I probably can't sell this, but 280 bucks for a fireplace? I feel like that's a lie. Someone else had meant this is a while back, but someone had mentioned there was like an M16 gun and it's like $127. And they're like, how are you going to buy an M16 for $127? I don't know. Maybe it's the Apocalypse f Flea Market or something. Those things are everywhere these days. Anyway, back over to the Apocalypse House so we can build our prison. All right, so here we are back at the Apocalypse Base of Operations. It's looking pretty legit, too. If you remember, our... Uh, can I turn these on? There we go. I want to get this stuff lit up. Can you turn these on at all? You cannot. It's looking pretty legit right now. We've got a little bit of a living area over here. We have, I think that this turned into our, oh, this is like a, uh, just a, <laughs> eh, I forgot about that picture. This is the place where a couple people live. I've got, I don't know what happened. I, I've got these little switches laying all over the ground. I assume this is when I started moving stuff around. Ah, oh, the tiling. Totally forgot about the tiling. 
But anyway, our prisoner area is gonna have to be here somewhere. And then this was the the urination room because before we didn't have any plumbing. Oh, I can add plumbing now. I totally forgot. We could put like a real toilet here instead of peeing into the grate. As a matter of fact, I've never done any plumbing. Hold on, let's find out how it works real quick. All right, installations, bathtub, toilet. Let's try that. Toilet, in now where am I allowed to put this? Does it, will it literally, oh, it'll go wherever I want. Yes. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, you can like put it like deep into the wall. That's kind of weird. Oh, oh, it has to, it, it turns red if it's too far away. Okay. But, oh, okay. I didn't know we were gonna, did we like hammer this in? The hell, whatever. Um, there's also an AC one. Look at all the stuff. There's a radiator one, towel radiator, sink, all kinds of crap. That's pretty cool. I want the tall backed toilet for this area. Oh yes. Mmm. Luckily, installing a toilet is super easy. It's like five steps and you're done. Look at that, look at how quickly. Look at how quickly it was done. You could even put a sink over here or something. Okay, now this has happened, we need to change things around a little bit because the prison area is gonna have to be at least a little bit big. So I have to move this door over, I think, which means that we get the fantastic opportunity to bust down some walls. Everyone loves busting down walls, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Get your ass out of here, walls. On top of that, can I move this door? Like, can I just grab this and move it? I can't? That's so strange. You can move almost everything, but you can't move the doors. You have to just sell it, buy it, and put it back. There we go. Now we have at least a little bit more space. And in here, there's still some decent space to go and use the bathroom and stuff, too. I may be even able to put up a sink over here. Considering we're doing all the other installations, we might as well give it a shot. Uh, yeah, sink plumbing, okay. Right about, maybe. Can you put it up higher or does it have to be a certain level? Okay, so it has to be a certain level no matter what. So let's put it like, I don't know, I guess right about there. All right, sink installed. There's enough area to like, yeah, you could, you could. Man, it's kind of close enough to the point where you could almost wash your hands and do your stuff at the same time. All right, let's move out here. What are we gonna use for bars? I think is the biggest question, because if this is gonna be kind of like the prison -y area right over here, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to use for the actual bars. Huh, that doesn't look ba that bad. The uh, the lamps have the black bar look to it. As a matter of fact, ooh, let me think about this. If I put a ceiling here, it should, will that almost connect to the lamps? That would be amazing if it does, because then it, I could make this look pretty legit. Hold on, let me, let me check something over here. Put this, what was it, right about, right about here? Yeah, hold, hold on one second here. Let me uh, mess around with this a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, it definitely works. We can, we can kind of like, I have to keep this area open so I can legitimately step through it for right now because there's more stuff that we have to put in the back over here. But this portion kind of works. I feel like putting a light over here or something. The only issue is if you turn this on, you ready for this? Oh, it totally didn't turn this area on. Before it was turning on all, oh, hold on, I have an idea now. I was gonna say before it was turning on all these lamps, but it looks like they all have their own switches. So I could put a light over here, turn these lamps on, and it won't be blinding the crap out of us. All right, we need some glorious prison beds. Can I fit it this way? Now the lamps are there, that's fine though. We, uh, how are prison beds always facing? Kind of like this, right, like that right there. There we go. Now we just need a toilet and a sink, basically one like right on top of the other, maybe right here in the corner. All right, we got the toilet, we got the sink, basically like right on top of one another. And then these, they always have like a, like the grate over here, don't they? So that when people get hosed down or whatever, all the water kind of goes through the grate. So having the grate there would be right about how it should be. I'm trying to find like good tiles for the walls. Um, these ones kind of look like concrete, so they may work. I'm gonna buy some of those. But there was another one over here that looked kind of interesting. It's like these 3D tiles. I don't know what these look like either. I mean, I got like, uh, what was it? It was like 200% faster tiling. So I should be legitimately like the fastest tiler in the entire universe right now. Um, hmm. That doesn't look too bad. How, do, how does this, how does these ones look over here? Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. This gives it that, this gives it that like, um, that shambled kind of broken down prison house look to it. I, I think I like these ones a little bit more. It gives a man a false sense that he may actually be able to break out of prison as well. Oh yeah, the more I use this tile, the more I like it. And speaking of using tile, this actually has, this, there's no segue for this, but I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it anyway. It's time for another story time with Gray, where I tell you about the facts of life that I have learned 
some of which got me into a lot of trouble and or injured myself or someone else. So today we're going to talk about misunderstanding and how it too can ruin an entire day for you. It was, uh, oh man, I, it must have been like, like fourth or third grade or something like that. We were doing a, uh, we were doing an assignment in class and everyone was just kind of working and we had those, um, you know those, uh, the workbooks where it's all, you can, you can write in the entire thing. Like all the answers and stuff, you actually have to write down in the book itself. It's like an all paperback book and you work on it and then you put your answers in there. Well, I, we were working on one of those and I got done early and I had it under my seat. Um, because back then we had the, the desks where you had a seat and then attached to that was the desk, which had like a little pocket that you can put things into. Like it was all metal with like a wooden, you know, a, a fake wooden topping. But it had a metal portion that was like a basket uh, underneath the table portion. And then under your seat was like a wire basket. It was, an, you know, it, you, you could see what was in there and it was all like a, like a wire. And I had gotten done, so I put my, uh, my binder or my, uh, my notebook under my seat. So the, we had a female teacher and she asked me, she was like, hey, where's your, you know, where's your workbook? And not understanding how this sounds, I said, blow me, as in below me. And she was like, what did you say? And I was like, blow me. And she was like, to the principal's office. And I was like, what did I do wrong? So I'm sitting in the principal's office and the principal is like, so, um, your teacher tells me that you said something very inappropriate. And I was like, I don't know what we're talking about here. And he's like, he's like, when she asked you where your, where your, uh, your, your book was, what did you say? And I was like, blow me. And he's like, okay, you can't say that. And I'm like, why? And he's like, you know, he's trying to, to say this to someone that's whatever, like nine or 10 years old. So he can't say that it involves you know, like wieners and stuff like that. So he's like, listen, it's just, it's something that you, you can't talk about until you're older and it's very inappropriate to say to someone. And in my head, I'm like, wow, I never thought that like mentioning that something was underneath you was so bad. My parents never told me about this. So he's like, we're gonna have to call your parents. And I was like, I, okay. So then I got home and now I'm talking with, you know, now, so school day's over. Now I'm talking with my, my mom and my dad. And my mom's like, I'm very disappointed in you. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, wow, this turned into a whole big deal. Like, I wish someone would have told me a long time ago that to mention the location of your book is such a heinous crime. And I was like, you know, I still don't get what this, why this is a problem. And she's like, she's like, she's like, okay, well, you know, you, you can't say, I was like, I was like, if something's just underneath you, I don't. And she's like, wait, what did you say? And I was like, you know, if something's underneath you, and she's like, wait a second, what did you say a teacher again? And I was like, that my book was below me. And she's like, below you. Oh, below you. And I was like, yeah, what's the big deal? And that like, so my entire day was ruined because of this. You folks, just like before, how your, how your various family members had like destroyed essentially your confidence in them by fooling you with what you thought was iced tea when in fact it was beer or other horrifying mixed drinks apparently. I, you guys are gonna have to leave me comments about stories where you said something and it was completely misunderstood. And it may be hard because like I, I've thought back on my life about times where people misunderstood me, but like the misunderstanding was so significant here that it turned something into something like way else. You know what I mean? Like, like it wasn't even remotely what it used to be. Man, I love this tile. Like this tile looks fantastic for what we're using it for. But anyway, guys, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments section below if you've ever had an instance like that. I'm gonna close this up over here and we're gonna have the beginning of a pretty substantial prison over here. There we go. It's looking pretty legit. See, I even got a little, a little uh, cellmate over here for our guy. Although technically I think it would <laughs> go into the, the bathroom area. A little window to freedom. You can bust past the doors. Our prison's looking pretty legit over here. It's looking pretty good. But yeah, you guys are gonna have to let me in the comment section if you've ever had misunderstandings up to that level. 
Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of House Flipper. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, feel free to uh, imprison the old like button. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>